Hello, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. Today is an update on our big headed ants, our Fredona Noda colony. So, since December, there have been an amazing amount of progressions and we have some very exciting changes. So, in our Christmas video, we added them to a test tube portal in Outworld for more space and they filled all the test tubes very quickly within less than a week but then after two weeks the test tubes had almost run out of water and because I made this port myself I couldn't add new test tubes as I'd glued them on so I decided to add water to the outlet as I planned for this to become their new nest. When I created the outlet, I got a basic tub and added some rocks at the bottom and then soil and sand. And what the rocks did is that any pressure pushed down from all the weight of the soil and sand. When the ants would dig the tunnels in the bottom, the soil wouldn't collapse, which meant that there would be a better structure for the nest. And the soil and humus which I added would increase the humidity and better control. And then the sand on the top where they forage, as well as some rocks for decoration. So, once I finished this setup, I had them connected for a few weeks. But as the test tubes dried up, I thought I would add water to the outlet. But then, they have been growing in size. And when you're here under the tub, all of the brood can be seen. The heat mat I placed under one corner of the tub helped to create a temperature gradient from hot to cool, so the ants could choose the best conditions needed. Since they moved into the outlet. I increased their diet and gave them one large cricket a day instead of one or two very small micro crickets. And this definitely helped them develop faster as well as the heat. I also give them honey every other day. And watch as these ants take down this cricket. By crushing the head of cricket and parts of the body. This instantly kills it, but the nerve endings are exposed, meaning that when the ants bite, the body still reacts and makes it look like the insect is alive. I find this much more interesting for watching the ants take down semi-live prey, rather than something that has been boiled and completely still. Also, I've noticed that the mages almost never come out. It seems they more protect the brood and the queen rather than searching and foraging. As there are about 30 to 40 mages, and I think I've only ever seen one come out, but only to the entrance of the nest. And there must be at least over 100 minor workers too. But then, as you see in this video, this was the first time I'd ever seen the mages come out, and there are at least three or four. Also, what should we do to make the setup better? Should we add some small plants, or maybe a cleanup crew like springtails? Leave your ideas in the comments below, and we'll decide next week what to add. We've come to the end of the update, and stay tuned to see updates on our other comments in next week's video. And remember to leave a comment on suggestions for improving our big headed ant setup. And also leave comments below, what species should we do an update on next? Be sure to check out our website and check our shop out as we have new stock available. Also, follow us on Instagram and join our Facebook group. 
I will leave the links in the description below. This is My Little World's Axe. See you in next week's video. Goodbye. And now, I'll just leave some footage of my axe running.